I have one of the lowest ratings on WikiFeet out of any streamer I've I know. I've never looked at WikiFeet. For someone so beautiful, I would have thought she would have had far better feet. These <gasps> are verging on grotesque. I didn't say anything about your feet. What? When? You said you were talking about how nice they are. I. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't. I was hoping to start this episode with a compliment. About your feet? That's so weird. Take what I can get in these parts. Maya. I was recently um, insulted in regards to my feet. Dude, that was so funny. That was so funny. Mia Malkova said you have bad, weird, cringe feet. The question was... She said it verbatim. The question was... <laughs> she did say that. Um, what a... Uh, what was it? What are you most what insecure your, about? Yeah, what's your biggest insecurity? And then they, and everybody has to guess. And Mia Malkova, for me, she was like, I don't know, your feet maybe? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> she was like, you have a long toe. Yeah, my <laughs> second toe is longer than my uh, my big toe. And she was like, yeah, I saw that. So I thought it was maybe your feet. And I was like, I've never had a problem with that in my life. I've never thought so about funny. that. It's It gave me a new insecurity. It's funny because my feet are genuinely messed up. And I'm not, I've never been insecure about my feet. I'm just like, they're so messed up. It's fine. I have like a like I have one of the lowest ratings on WikiFeet out of any streamer. I've I know. never looked at WikiFeet. Really? Never. Can I just see what your rating is? Sure. Will it make I, you sad? I don't think so. What if? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm what is a excited. what is a rating? Wiki. Can you explain what WikiFeet is for those who Wiki don't know? WikiFeet, yes, for the normal people. Okay. It's a website that collects celebrities' feet. Okay. Which of course you and I we're both celebrities. Right. Um, so I'm just going to come here and I'm going to search Maya Higa. You do come up. Excellent. You would hate this website, by the way. Okay. Um, but you have five stars. Is it what's, how oh, many? my gosh. Five out of five. How many do you have? <laughs> Why are you asking like that? Let me see my feet page. One second. One second. I want to see. <gasps> my score has gone up. Thank you. Thank you to my fans. I'm at 3.7. Stars? 3.7 stars. Out of five? So, Are those pictures of your feet? Yeah, so they take screenshots. Ow. So as you can see, this is me petting my cat on Ludwig's stream. Oh, there they are. Yeah, my toes are messed up. <laughs> uh. The best part is actually the comment section. Let me get to it. One second. For someone so beautiful, I would have thought you would have had far better feet. Agreed. These are <gasps> verging on grotesque. So if she took better care, you could see an improvement. There really isn't one good photo of her in the gallery, though. Wait, what this I is hurting like... my feelings. Stop. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I do want to see mine, though. They don't sit straight. Like, toes are too big for foot. <laughs> the big toe is disproportionately big, but the the nail is too small. The big toe is huge. <laughs> Stop reading comments. Wait, this is toxic. Really this is funny. so toxic. No, I actually think these ones are funny. My feet, you can't, you can't get me down about my feet. You really can't. There was one that was so funny. Oh yeah, agree one hundred percent. Those top, those toes look like an eight car train derailment pile up. That's so mean. So funny. And then someone says, "Does anyone have a page for minks?" <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the weirdest pairs of feet I've seen in my miserable life. Oh my god. So funny. Mean. I think these are funny. You're not gonna like it, Maya. I wanna see. Uh oh. This Give is, it to me. This is bad. I will review. I guys, this is my this is my first uh You're gonna feel violated because the first time you feel feet. violated. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Okay. It's the Wi Fi just died. <laughs> Thank goodness the stream version of our podcast is not happening right now. Oh, tough. <gasps> okay, wait. I just saw Margot Robbie, and I want to check out her rating after. I'm sure it's perfect. Okay, you have five stars. Five stars. There's all your feet. Oh, products. they have my shoe size right. I'm a size five. They don't have mine right. Toes, toes, toes. Those are my toes. Yes, toes. Toes on Hassan stream. Toes at my house. Toes on the couch. Toes. Girls trip. Don't remember that. Wine about it, toes. Wine about it, toes. Toes on the couch. All right, down to the comments. Very long soles for such a small woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, you do. Very nice. 
Damn, that's awful. Don't know how she's got a five-star rating. Think people just worship her. Those toes are jacked. <laughs> Overall, she is not very attractive, but <gasps> I don't find her toes jacked up. Generously, I gave her four stars. Oh, my God. They went, I'm sorry they took it above your toes. That was really mean of them. That was really mean and unnecessary. Yeah, this is about toes. Ooh. She's got masculine toes even when seen from the bottom, and more importantly, she hates you. Oh my god. You can admire her beauty as much as you want, but why would you call her a goddess? What a twisted fantasy. What? They use the word goddess a lot on this website. My queen. She is so beautiful. I love her. That's a nice one. XQCL. XQCL <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> it's crazy that that's in there. Uh, uh, um her soul far too soon to tell what average okay that one hurt my feelings that's really mean i'm sorry i'm sorry about that one let me i want to see margot robbie's rating because okay. what if what if margot robbie has the same rating as my toes and then it's kind of like i'm the same as her you know margot robbie so i have 3.7 no way she doesn't have five stars there's just no way yeah she's got five stars Okay, she has five. So I guess you're the same as her. Oh, okay, nice. We're Damn. the same. I'm really sad right now. Uh, maybe me and Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. She's also got five stars. Okay, you know what? I'm sick of these feet incels <laughs> that just give beautiful women five stars. That's right. They, uh, well, they don't think that I'm attractive. Just that one guy. Oh, I got one guy Is that on Wiki Feet. <laughs> More importantly, it's been so hot in LA. We came into our studio today, <laughs> and our our faux candles that are made of plastic are melted. They're melted because our studio is in a shed. Unironically, the yard is inside the house, but our podcast studio is in the shed outside the house. Yeah, they still work though. I think and they, they look kind of cool. like art. Yeah, that's what I think also, but or we'll like a cartoon. Them. I mean, I think we'll replace some of them, but we'll keep them. But I just like slowly panned around the room and saw more of them <laughs> collapse. Yeah, some of them are pretty bad. It was kind of sad. I like them. Uh, uh, we, we just, just got, got back from wine about. Oh, whoa. Well, we also just did that. We. <laughs> But that episode will be next week. Oh. Because we talked less about Shake Camp on that episode. So okay. it's going to be less relevant. Like, this this current episode will be more relevant. Right? You think? We'll, we'll see when this episode we'll comes out. We'll talk about it after. We'll figure it out. I honestly don't know when this episode will come out, but we're happy to have you here. Hey. Call your dads because we would prefer more dad listeners. Okay. Why not? Yeah. That's fine. Um, we just got back from Shake Camp. I'm in tremendous amounts of pain. Yeah. Like, a shocking amount of pain. I you went got to the, beat up. I, I got beat literally. up at shit camp. Um, no, I got I got launched off the blob. I got thrown on the ground a couple times, several times. You were really into physical humor this time around. I was because it's so funny. Because I'm because you're small. I'm small, so everyone's like, "Holy shit!" You know, um, and I'm I'm pretty durable. You know, like I'm pretty sturdy. Yeah, so like I can take a couple blows and, and it's funny but i went too far with the bit at shit camp i'm just in so much pain i went to urgent care today um after shit camp because i thought i had a cracked rib i was scared i punctured my lung yeah, yeah i didn't know that was a thing yeah so i got x-rays today um it's not a cracked rib it's a bruised rib but it's right over the ribs that cover the part of your body that does all the mechanic stuff like breathing coughing sneezing laughing so everything hurts <laughs> <laughs> it's it's sad because the first thing she said when she got in the car, she was like, I wish it would have just been broken or cracked so I could say I had a like cracked or a broken rib so people aren't like, she's baby. being dramatic. Yeah. She got a bruised rib. What yeah. a baby. Yeah, but it's insane how much it hurts. It's like shocking. It's weird because we were trying to like figure out what caused it because you did so many things. Yeah. My theory is that it was multi-impact. Combination. Multi-impact, multi-punch. I think multi so, too. I think so, too. But, yeah, the doctor said to expect about four weeks of pain, so we'll see. It's, it's, you know what's crazy? It is worse than, I got kicked in the ribs by a horse, and it's uh -huh. worse than that. 
Jeez, Louise. Yeah. I can't wait to see the comment. This happens every week when we just talk. Yeah. When they say, wow, all, all these cool. girls do is complain on a podcast called Wine About It. <laughs> we're supposed to be whining. It's a pun. We, we drink wine and we complain. Yeah, that is what we're here for. Turns out people don't love complaining but i love it i love complaining and that's why we made this podcast yeah but we did just get back from shit camp um it was fun it was so different this year you didn't come to last year's no because you got dumped correct thrown in a trash can correct kicked to the curb correct <laughs> that is what happened so for some reason you didn't make it yeah um sorry guys <laughs> on the bright side you didn't miss out Really? I, you know, it's crazy. I didn't I didn't watch any of shit camp last year because I knew it would hurt my feelings because you were on the curb with no TV. <laughs> yes. No, I, I just didn't. Wa I, I just was scared. I was going to be sad that I wasn't there. Yeah, because yeah. I was we were supposed to go. It was really, 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 really fun. Um, and you did miss out. But no, the difference, I would say the difference between last year and this year is last year, since it was at a house, it felt way more communal. Yeah. Like, like, I liked, like, like, just, like, we hung out in the hot tub afterwards. Right. And we watched TV together yeah. afterwards. Right. This one was on a, what, freaking 500-acre campground? It was massive. It was big. Yeah. It was hard to have, like, moments where you just, like, hang out. Right. I also think something's wrong with me. I feel like I can't connect to humans anymore. Is that weird? Yes. Uh-oh. What do I do? What? What do you mean? Like, I feel like I was hanging out with everyone, but I, I like, don't feel anything about it. I feel like well, I literally am incapable of feeling. Okay, that's not true. Um, oh. but besides sad, no. You f you also feel anxious. Sometimes. Yeah, but why can't I feel happy? Um, are there moments where you feel happy? When you saw Swift today, when you came back, you I were happy. love Swift. Swift makes me so happy. Um, I it's it's different. I think you, you you like see us hanging out and talking at Shit Camp because all we have to do is be there, I know. and it's basically a vacation. You're like. Thinking of Planning. the next thing. Yeah, you're working. Um, so it's very different. I, I wouldn't be worried about that. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I want to like, I don't know. I, I, when I think of like hanging out with friends, I go to like the nostalgia of like high school. Oh, it's never going to be like that. I know, but why? I just want to play freaking kick the can and dream about making out with Tony behind the trash can. Tony. He was, I had the biggest crush on a boy named Tony. Whoa. I was obsessed with him. And sometimes he would send me I messages, and so he'd be like, "Bring me cookies to school tomorrow," and I'd do it. And then he would ignore me all day. That's so sick it of him. So cool. That's so. He sick. was so hot. The last time I my friend saw him was at a party where he was smoking salvia and drooling. So apparently I, apparently I missed out on a good one. Gross. Yeah, he was like drooling and asking for milk and it was just pouring out ew, of the sides of ew, his face that's disgusting yeah um what were we talking about? oh feeling i'm so sorry shit camp. shit camp was a massive success i think i think it would i think it went f uh, i think it went wonderfully it did go wonderfully especially for all the the controversy controversy surrounding it right everyone's like this is gonna suck yeah well just the juicers the juicers you know their their juicers not going so they're pretty mad for non-twitch listeners there's a very popular streamer named xqc who decided not to come we kind of covered that in last week's episode um mm -hmm. but it led to a lot of like speculation of like oh this is gonna be boring and last second two more people decided not <laughs> to come yeah which was uh, unfortunate um, because then it just added to that speculation. Um, but I don't know. The situations were, like, so different. I think that's the thing. It was, like, X didn't say anything to me about it. Um, Insane. But Poke and Gigi sent me, like, messages, like, really feeling, like, saying sorry that they couldn't make it. That it was, like, anxiety related. Which I I can understand. Yeah. I, uh, I have a flight literally tomorrow. And I've been thinking about it since the second shit camp ended because now I don't have something to distract myself. I know. And it's been eating me alive. I know. It's just been on repeat in my head. Like, that's how much I hate flying. So if someone says to me, like, hey, I'm ha I have flight anxiety. It's hard for me to fly. Plus, I'm anxious about, like, the social situation. I'm not coming. You're fine. I'll never hold that against you. Like. Fair enough. But. Freak. 
I, I talked to the camp counselors because the, they run they run that camp for people. Yeah. And they told me it was the smallest group they've ever had rent out the whole camp. I'm sure it was. That camp, <laughs> that camp capacity was for 200 people. And there were like 20 of us. Yeah. Maybe. Not even. Not even 20. Because yeah. there's 14 of us and then I had four yeah. helpers. So 18. 18 of us for the entire camp is crazy. Yeah. That place was crazy. To have a place like that where you can stream everywhere, like the, the service is good enough, and like paintball, go-karts, archery, horseback riding, like it's all in one place. Yeah, we didn't even do half the stuff that we could have. Yeah. They had arch or they had go-karts. The reason I didn't do go-karts is because like the carts were hot. Yeah. We almost had go-karts a part of the relay race. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I went over there. They took me over in the golf cart, and I felt them, and I was like, you go Dangerous. in there, you're coming out burnt. Yeah. There's just too hot. It was 115 degrees <laughs> the whole time. It got up to, did it, did it get to 118? Or was that? I don't know. Phone saying that? I don't know. Hot, dry heat. The too. funniest comment that Casey Tron found was this one. Uh, I don't know who it was, but they just found like, we weren't directly in Fresno. We were like probably 30, 40 minutes out of Fresno, but some viewer found the weather forecast in Fresno and it was like 105 and they like tweeted out and they're like, these streamers are so pathetic. They're lying. They're saying it's 115. And it's like, bro, why would we lie about that? Also, 105 is miserably hot as well. Yeah. Like, what are you trying to prove? He's like, what the heck? He's a drama flog. Drama flog. It's not hot, foreheads. No, it was so hot. Yeah. Uh, my biggest mistake with shit camp was Zorb soccer. Yeah, that sucks because it was so much work. It was, it was so expensive. Yeah. It was so expensive because I had to buy all the Zorb soccers. And I didn't realize how big they would be, but they filled up my entire car. Yeah. So that meant that three other cars had to be filled up and driven out there all because my car was full. Yeah. And so and it was just too hot to be in them. It's, it these was, Zorb soccers, they're just like these giant plastic balls that you get in um, and you can bump into each other and like throw each other around. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was just it was like being in a greenhouse and running around. Well, when I first talked about it, do you know those actual human hamster balls? Yes. Apparently, there was, like, a guy in Russia. I, would, I was just about to say that would be way worse. A guy in Russia in the human hamster ball was, like, up at a ski resort and legitimately blew off the mountain and died. He rolled off. Oh, that's so scary. Isn't that terrifying? I hate that. Number one, they should have never had a human soccer ball by the cliff? side of a cliff. Maybe he wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah, probably. But, but that's crazy. I know. Because at first I was like looking, I was like, ooh, what if we did human soccer balls and like raced across the pool or something like that instead of like. Now they're going to crack their heads on the side. Yeah. What an awful way to go. Can you imagine being uh, trapped in a ball like that? Uh, it's the, ter- the heights, the everything. Oh, my God. No. Oh, I, my God. Speaking of heights. Zip lining. I can't believe I couldn't do it. And the blob. I've actually become such a pussy. I've become a pussy. Here's the thing about heights and adrenaline and stuff like that. I'm still so tilted by this. It's so annoying. I did the zip line. Oh, gosh. I, here we go. I here did the goes. zip line, and I knew that I would hate it, right? Like, I, I, do, I hate adrenaline. I've never liked adrenaline. I hate roller coasters. I, I hate heights. I, I don't, like, I, I don't know. I'm just, like, a pretty even keel bitch, you know? Yeah. Sorry. Censor that. I, it's not necessary. Um, but... I wanted to do the zip line because I said on stream that I didn't like this kind of stuff and I didn't know if I could do it. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, everyone's like, yeah, you can. You, you can, can do, do it. it. Like, you just, you're going to love it if you just do it. Like, go, whatever. And it's not like they're they're making me, you know, it's not like severe peer pressure. It's not their fault. It was, I was just like, I'll do it for the content. And I hated it. And I knew that I was going to hate it. And then I got to the bottom and I was like, guys, once you're an adult, you know what you like and what you don't like. If you know you're not going to like something, just don't do it. And they're like, L, take. And I was just like, okay, maybe I said it too aggressively. I was like, look, I, I don't, like, you have to try new things. But you just know, you know yourself, you know, you know if you're uncomfortable or not. And most, I said this on my stream, but most introverts will understand. It's like having friends that are like, just go out. It'll be so much fun. You'll have so much fun. Oh, just me drink. going to the clubs. Yeah, they're like, just <laughs> drink. You'll have fun if you drink. And it's like, you know that you won't. You know, it's just not your thing. Um, and it felt, it was like triggering for me, the zip lining thing, because it reminds me, being an introvert, of how extroverts 
think that introversion is like an illness. Or like they have to cure it, or you just have well, to like step out of your comfort yeah, people zone, are like, and then you'll step be happy. Out your comfort zone, you're gonna love it, and it's like right. I'm not a child anymore. Right. Well, I know even that I'm as a like kid, it. even as a kid, my my family would do that. Go on the roller coaster, you're gonna love it. Yeah. I hated it. Right. I've always had. I I will be honest. I'm a weird anomaly. I think maybe because I wish I loved it. Yeah. I really do. Oh, me too. And I, it like makes me sad. Like it's weird because I I really loved zip lining. Um, not even like. Seven years ago, I went yeah. on like a zip lining excursion from a cruise. That or whatever. zip line was different. It was different. I've gone on zip line courses that are not scary. They're just really nice and like fun. The zip line that we went on, there was a free fall there. Yeah. And it was fast. Yeah. And the whole platform shook. Yeah. And that it was, was weird. like, it was, that is not what I expected for a zip line. It was scary. It was scary. I did not like it. But it was that. also really short, and I've been on much longer ones. Yeah. So part of me, a weird part of me was nervous because, like, anxiety is a disease that can consume you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, am I losing to it? Because now I'm not going on this zip line. Right. Uh, and so I, like, got sad because, I, like I said, I've been on zip lines a lot of times in my life, and I just couldn't get myself to do it. Kind of sad. And Even jumping blob, off that blob. I don't know why I couldn't do that. It was, like, 15 feet up, I think. I know. But I used to. I also used to go cliff jumping. Oh, I would never do that. Never. Like in high school, we would go, we would go cliff jumping, and it was fine. I couldn't do that. Like I didn't love it, but I still like would do it. Would do it, you know. You know the other thing though about getting older is when you're in high school, you don't think that you're indestructible, or you are indestructible. You know, like you don't think there's any way that you're gonna. Die. Uh, I've always been really paranoid. Okay, in high school, <laughs> I, it never crossed my mind that I would get severely, like permanently injured, or that I would die. Really? I, I just never, oh my God, I never thought. I used I've to do the dumbest stuff with horses. Anxiety. I would always do the dumbest stuff with horses and stuff like that. The older I've gotten, the more things hurt. You know, like yeah. I'll fall and it'll like hurt for a day, you know, yeah. and like, or I'll like move the wrong way, you know, and it'll like, it'll hurt. But that never happened in high school. So now I'm just much more careful. Dude, the thing I hate most about even getting slightly older is just like, like running. Yeah. I used to just be able to like hard. play night games and just run and run and run. Or like <laughs> when I needed to like tighten up for prom, I would run a few laps like after school. Yeah. No, I can run every single day. And my body looks no different. And it's so hard every time. And I'm mm-hmm. like, how do I get back into shape? It's so, uh, it's so frustrating. But I'm happy. One good thing. I, I am really happy I did the ropes course. I didn't mind that at all. We liked that one. I said this to you. We liked that one because we have control issues. Yeah, it's a little lame. I got a little scared once I got through the first part, and I was so tired. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make this. The first part was hard. It was the hardest part. If you didn't catch shit camp, there was this this ropes course that was probably like 50 feet up. No. Oh. 30. 30 feet up. And... The first part of it was like swings that you had to step on, like just yeah. a, a trail of swings they had to get through, and it was all upper body strength pretty yeah. much. It was hard. It was really hard. Yeah. But you sped through that. Oh, I was crazy. I'm agile. Wait, you didn't come up at first. What made you decide to come up? I was not scared of the ropes course. I knew that I would like it. I wasn't nervous about it. I didn't want to get stuck behind somebody who couldn't get through it and then just have to wait there in the heat. Oh, so then, so then you, when other people dropped out uh, and I knew I was just behind you and Myth, I was like, all right, I'll go. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah. Hassan was the slowest one, but once he figured out, he went really fast too. He struggled up there. It was hard to watch. I was, I felt really bad for him. It was scary when he like did the splits because I was like, <laughs> what happens now? Yeah. Well, How's yeah. he going to get up? Um, no, but I, I do think that we, uh, I do think. That we like that one because we have control issues. The zip line you can't do anything about. The ropes course, you it's your like, you decide if you fall. You know, or yeah. Like, you can control if you fall or not. Um. So I actually like stuff like that. I love climbing trees. Like I like I like doing stuff like that. And it didn't feel like adrenaline. The ropes course, I wasn't scared. Mm. But I don't have a heights problem. Um. Something something interesting, and I know. You guys are probably sick of me saying stuff like this after I do events. Like, after Girls Trip, I was like, ah, Girls Trip was great, but I'm not going to do it that way in the future. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm going to, if I do a, a Girls Trip, it's going to be dramatically different. Shit camp. Guys, I've got bad news. <laughs> bad news. I, okay, shit camp was insanely successful. It was more successful than Girls Trip. It was it was For great. Sure. 
Um, however, what I've learned from this last one is just the climate of streaming or the climate of my friend group, at least, has changed a lot since last year. And I didn't realize everybody's yeah. doubled in size. Right. Everybody has like they don't want to take time away from their stream. And I shake camp in the future will not be a multi day event. It'll probably be a one day thing. We come out, we do archery, we roast the marshmallows like. Yeah. Because it's just it's just the vibe is really, really hard. Group things. It, it's kind of like that in high school when you're going to go see a movie with your friends like, oh, is me? Is Tony going? I'll go. If Tony's going. You yeah. Know? And so like turns into that like X is not go. And so it's like, or, you know, Nick Molina doesn't go. So it doesn't go. So the next is like genuinely that I know we made a meme out of that, but that is literally how that worked. Yeah. And so it's like, oh, well, what's going to happen next year? Like, it's a big gamble planning that thing. And I think I'm very lucky it pulled off because the camp, the, here's the curtain. It's getting pulled back. The camp cost me $165,000. Yeah. If everyone. Like just the venue. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just the venue. That does not count for the extra staff I paid, the tech I had to buy, the bus, the mer Like, there's, there's so much stuff on top of it that makes me want to throw up. Yeah. Um. But that's how much that costs. And there was, it's just a gamble. Because what if my sponsor, like, what if I ruin relationships with the two sponsors that helped me pay, like, pretty much paid for it? What if I ruin that relationship because no one shows up and so it does bad in views and so they don't get signups and blah, 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 blah. It's like, that was a terrifying gamble when all of a sudden people said they couldn't come and they right. couldn't make it. I had to book this place like a year in advance. Mm -hmm. So I had to make this gamble a year, a year ago. Um, and I told people, but unfortunately, life happens and people have stuff come up. Um, and especially with people getting bigger and bigger, people even had stuff come up the last day, so they had to leave early. Right. Like, and then when, you know, when it went from just Austin leaving to all of a sudden, Austin, Hassan, Hassan Will. was like, oh, I'll get on your flight, Austin. And then Will was like, oh, I'll get on Austin's flight too. And so they're all gone. And it's just like, shoot. Everybody's, yeah, everybody's way bigger. Everybody's really busy. Um, and it's, it used to be like a super chill. I, I say wanted this, to hang out. I don't say this about shit camp last year because I wasn't there. But like, in my experience with events is mostly OTK events, right? When I was super yeah. involved in OTK events. And it used to feel like everybody just hanging out, you know? Because yeah. we were all friends. And like, it's just like, it's, you're just, the stream's on. Um, it used to feel like that. And now it feels like, it's asking favors to be on other people's streams, you know, for them to come on your whatever. And it's it's everybody's bigger. It's business, you know, it's transactional. Yeah. It's it's hard to get to ask so many people to be in the same place uh, for one thing. Yeah. And it's not uh, it's not I don't think it's a sustainable model. I agree with you. If you asked me right now, like, should I should I book it for next year? I would be like, I don't think that's a good yeah. idea. As cool as that campground is, as much as I would love to go back there, it's just I can't I can't. It just, you know, and I could do, and some people would say to me, like, oh, just do different streamers. Do smaller streamers that can give you the commitment. But it's like, no, because I also, like, want to hang out with, like, these are my friends, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. these are the people I do want to make memories with. These are the people I do want to spend time with. And so I just have to figure out how to do that in a more consumable way. So don't worry. Shakeham's not dead. It's not dej. It's just, it's just going to be, gonna be really different. different. It's going to be different, but it's still going to be cool. Same thing with Girls Trip. Same thing with Girls Trip. Girls Trip, Girls Trip's going to be dramatically different. Girls yeah. Trip is going to be like four girls yeah, going to Cabo or something, yeah. and we'll just call it Girls Trip. It'll be way more chill. Right. Um, shit camp, I'll still try to invite 16, 20 people, but it'll just be a, a, like a whole day thing. Mm -hmm. Like imagine like one day of shit camp, but instead opening ceremonies is in the morning. Yeah. And then closing ceremonies is the night. And it's a, it's a 16 hour stream. That's kind of sick crazy yeah and we have like you know instead of like having lunch catered we literally have a breakfast stream a lunch stream a yeah like, i don't know i'll get creative with it i'll come up with something but the idea is not dead worst case like i think we could even do uh the idea of just like a one night camp out people come for our opening ceremony at 7 p.m we actually camp outside wake up make breakfast closing ceremony at noon yeah, I think the first idea would work better. It would work better, but I think the second idea is, like, cooler. I don't know that people are – I, I genuinely – it's so sad because it's one night of sleeping outside, but I don't know that – It sounds so out of touch. I like, don't know, I don't that, know that they're people prepared would sleep outside, to. But it's true. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they would either. 
So I think the first idea is probably where I'll go. But yeah, I mean, I'm still really excited about it. Like, don't like genuinely. It went great. It went so good. It was my best event yet, great. I think. Yeah. Uh, Streamer, Streamer Awards, Awards was better. better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not interested in topping the Streamer Awards besides with the Streamer Awards Streamer every Awards year. year. Yeah. yeah. Every year the Streamer Awards will get better. But yeah, Shit Camp was really, really great. I think my highlight was uh, Casey Tron. So it was fun. funny because the first day when she was doing her fake and real bit, yeah. I remember saying, I was like, I'm not sure about yeah, this. She said to me, she was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. But then chat really jumped in on it. And Casey just like got her timing just like immaculate. I thought it was so There fun. was a clip. Fake. When she got shot by Zoil. She got shot by Zoil in our in our blindfolded shooting game. And she instantly just goes fake. It was so funny. Yeah, she nailed that. That was great. Um, what was my favorite part? My favorite part was just like, Go uh, not even stream wise, but I just swam a lot. Yeah, you just kept jumping in the lake. I was just in the lake all the time. It was so hot, and so it, and it just didn't matter what I was wearing. I went in the lake with my flannel pajamas. Yeah, I was just like the lake scared me. I just started algae. walking in the lake, and it made such a difference temperature wise. It saved me. If there was no lake at Shit Camp, I probably would have a very different view of Shit Camp. <laughs> yeah, because I would have just fair. I would have just been miserable. I would have been so hot the whole time and like match. I will say the I think my favorite thing about Shit Camp is seeing how much effort everybody put in on each other's streams. True. Is actually so wholesome. It and is sweet. really wholesome. Like that was a problem for me though, is like we're obviously we're not required to be oh my god, pain. Um we're not required to be on any streams. So I always can, tell people too, I'm like, please take a nap. Yeah, please. take a nap, skip, whatever. But you can I, I you feel bad. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Like how whose stream am I gonna pick to not go on? Like to not help out, you know. Yeah. Um. So I, I just went on all of them, and yeah. I was so I think so. Yeah. And I was so I was just so tired. I was really tired. I was too. so done. Um. Yeah, and then I got drunk yesterday. You got so drunk yesterday. I got drunk for you. Yeah, I was very nervous. She was nervous about there being enough content because people left and like everybody it left. Being good vibes. When it first started, it was like a little awkward. It was a little I was like looking around the room and I was like, "There are seven of us." Right. We started with sixteen and there are seven of us. Like yeah. I was like panicking. So I was just like me and Britt and Beth will all just get super drunk and then um, and then I did that. That was wicked. Yeah, you're a hero. It was drunk enough though, to where it was funny and fine. Yeah. But also when I woke up in the morning, I was like, uh oh. Oh um, no! And so I started looking through clips. Oh really? Um, just to like see what I was acting like, you know. There's the, I hate. There was one wine about it where I got way too drunk, I and remember. I I hated it. Like I yeah. I look back, I can't watch those clips. Like, really? I can't watch those clips. Like I can't watch that vod. Just like hearing myself, I was so annoying. I just, uh, like it, it makes me ill thinking about it. I hate getting that drunk. But I woke up this morning and I looked at a bunch you of clips. You weren't that drunk. Yeah, it was fine. That was like a that was. Now I know that voice. Like so, Taylor, my my assistant, she's also been my friend for years. She has a very specific drunk voice that as soon as I hear the voice, I go, "Uh oh!" Like, yeah, we're done, you know. But now I know your drunk voice. Yeah, but I can't say, "Uh oh, we're done." So instead, I'll just throw the bottle away. Respect. And say, "Uh oh, I fell with <laughs> the bottle in my hand." <laughs> I. W I couldn't. I almost called you this morning to Why? ask you to get me out of bed. Oh, really? Cause I was in so much pain. I was in so much That's pain so this morning. Sad. I couldn't. I was trying to sit up, and I like could not will myself to sit up because I knew it was gonna hurt so bad. And I was gonna call you, and I was like, oh, my door's locked, so she can't get in here. Um. Ugh. So and then I was like, and I was trying to figure out why I was in so much pain. I tweet on my um on my alt. I was like, uh, how is it possible that I'm in more pain today than yesterday? And then someone replies, ask Rich. And it's a screenshot of Rich throwing me. <laughs> and then I, onto the dirt. And so I look back at clips. I saw Rich throw me. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's probably Rich why. Rich threw you? And is the, I've never seen the camp counselors be more concerned. Really? They all, they all came rushing over. Oh, I think it's so funny. And I was like, so I had to like, I they were like so concerned. I had to give them a like, she's okay. She's okay. That's so funny. Oh, my eyes. That's so funny. Um. Yeah, I think. Do you have Do you have any anything else to say about shit camp? I think maybe that's all we have to touch. Um, I feel good about it. It was fun. The merch. I think it was sick. 
I haven't gotten the sales back. I don't know how it sold, but the merch was sick this year. It was so cute this year. It was year. so good. Um, yeah, everybody that was there was good. I had fun. It was sick. Yeah, it was no, so sick. Way better than I thought. I can't believe. I genuinely cannot believe Erob's luck, though. Dude. That blows my mind uh, that he lost his phone and wallet in the lake and then got banned from the rest of the <laughs> from the rest of the trip from the rest of the trip because he got he got banned on Twitch, which meant he couldn't do any of the activities. <laughs> he came walking into breakfast and he was like, I feel so awkward, like I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> and it felt bad for him. That was really sad. I was I think I must have been one of the first ones to see his ban because I was live and I had just gotten offline and then I saw the the tweet. And I, was, yeah. I thought it was fake. Yeah. I thought it was a joke. I was well, like, there's I saw no way. Casey in our group chat was like, LOL, why is E-Rob banned? Yeah. And I was like, I thought she was like making, I literally thought she was making a joke. I texted it to Brit immediately. And she woke up at like 4 a.m. and checked her phone and woke him up. Oh, no. And showed him. Yeah, I feel bad about that. I wonder when he'll get unbanned. It hasn't been said yet, right? Well, he couldn't, one, he couldn't figure out the reason he was banned for uh-huh. hours. Yeah. Because he didn't have his phone. Oh, my gosh. So he couldn't open his, he couldn't get into his Twitch account. And he couldn't get into his Twitch account on a different device because he couldn't do two-factor because of his phone. He didn't have his phone. And he couldn't get into his email because he didn't have two-factor for his phone. So I had to get him in touch with his partner manager to figure out why he was banned. And he can't send an appeal because he can't log into his Twitch. Oh, my gosh. So he gosh, just had to sit there factor. with his hands under his ass and not submit an appeal so i don't i i assume at this point he's done it done oh an my appeal, gosh but i would lose my mind i i don't i don't know what he actually was really good about it at one he was point so good about it at one point i will say he was one of the the number one campers too because whenever there was a mess he was the first one saying hey can i help you clean up he's very helpful he's so sweet yeah and and we're sitting there and he doesn't have a phone he hasn't had a phone for two days which was is very hard to do admittedly yeah. as stupid as that sounds at shit camp as a streamer yeah yeah not being able to check check your clips or check your yeah check your chat or check or your read about it or yeah, anything. anything like my phone's sitting there and it has chat open and he like pulled it over and he was like sorry sorry and i was like please like i was like erub take my phone all night Aww. like please you can like E-Rub. you can have your consumption of chat here like <laughs> poor guy i felt so bad for him he also tried to did you see the find my iphone thing no. He wanted to use Find My iPhone to uh-huh. find his iPhone or like locate it, like where it was at in the water. Um, and it asked for two factor. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? Dude, that happened to me when I lost my phone too. I lost my phone on the airplane and it asked for two factor. And I'm like, how am I supposed to log in to two factor to find my phone if I don't have my phone? That is the dumbest That's thing in the world. Genuinely wild. I don't understand it. I don't understand that either. Luckily, I had a computer that I was still logged into. Yeah. And that's the only way I was able to figure out where that's my phone was. That's crazy. It was so annoying. That's an oversight they need to address. Yeah, they've got to figure that out. <laughs> they really got to figure that out. Um, well, end, it was end of shit camp. End of shit camp, but also hot girl summer is coming to an end. Ladies. Yay. No. What? You're mad? I thought you were going to start talking about Hot Girl Summer, but then you said it was coming to an end. No. Hot Girl Summer's coming to an end, ladies, but that doesn't mean the end of smooth legs and scaped sacks. Yay. Manscaped. What is that line? Scaped sacks. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a crazy thing to say. If you and your man haven't been scaping your bikini lines and his jugs down under, it's not too late to grab the best tools to sweep up those pesky pubes. Who writes that? I don't My know who this Lord. writer is, but hello. Can I just say, somebody today in my chat said Maya has hairy armpits, <gasps> which is crazy because I shaved today oh. with Manscaped products, so I know that my armpits are incredibly smooth, and he actually just made that up. <laughs> I don't know if he wanted me to like. Maybe he just wanted to see my armpits or something. Yeah, because you were supposed to. Oh, that's and I was going to be like, because you. Yeah, raised... and I was like, no, they're not. But I that's saw him exactly do that, and I was wanted. like, why lie? He wanted to screenshot. Like, why it. would you just lie like that? That make me so self conscious. It didn't make me self conscious because I have Manscaped products, and I know that my armpits are really smooth. The leader in below the waist grooming is here to make sure your pubes feel smoother than a beach ball, and to make sure his. His nuts smell fresher than your pumpkin spice. <coughs> Damn straight. <laughs> wow. 
Start the new season the right way and join over 6 million individuals worldwide who trust Manscaped with the exclusive offer just for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code WHINEABOUTIT. WHINEABOUTIT. At manscaped.com. That is sick. Yeah. They, we actually recently opened a whole box oh my Manscaped. Oh, my gosh. So much stuff. I'm actually stoked. It, it's amazing. They even sent they sent their um their nose trimmer. Nose hair trimmer, ear hair trimmer, um a a razor, but it's not a razor. It's an it's an electric one. I forgot what that was called. They sent underwear. They sent t shirts. They sent ball deodorant. They even have a nail grooming kit. Kit. A lot of people, you know, wow. you got to take care of your nails, guys, because I don't want those nip fingers anywhere near me. If <laughs> don't put dirty fingernails in. I don't think I've ever had actually a story with that. I've had, well, Chance Morris, a.k.a. Soda Poppin', yeah. <laughs> told a story about how the first time he fingered a girl in high school, he accidentally scratched her. Uh, I've had that happen. Did it hurt? Yes. I didn't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what feels like down there to be scratched. It hurts. I had to ask my boyfriend in high school, actually, to trim his nails. This is beyond the point. Um, it's not because Manscaped sells them. Oh, and true. if you're if you're not taking your man to get a pedicure, then he needs the Shears 2.0, a luxury, a luxury nail grooming kit. That's sick. The kit That's includes a good gift stainless idea, steel actually. nail cutters, tweezers, grooming scissors. With the performance patches package, his sack will be smoother than beach balls. But make sure y- you cover the rest with the Shears 2.0. Yay! I'm killing it. I'm killing it. That's a sick ad read. It is a I, sick ad read. One of the first times I shaved my pubes, I did cut myself. And I don't think this really? is something that... I don't know if this is something that Manscaped would want to hear. It's okay. Um, but it was crazy how much it bled. I know that, <laughs> like, when you nick yourself with a razor, I guess oh, it, it bleeds go. a lot. Oh, you go. Yeah. I mean, your legs bleed a lot, but not, like, when I cut myself trying to shave my your pubes hoo-ha? for the first time. Yeah. That was crazy, and it hurt really bad. Like... And it's because I used a razor that was like a really bad, bad cheap razor, like drugstore or, you know, pharmacy razor that was not meant for shaving pubes. Like it was just a normal yeah. disposable one. It's important um, to get nice razors genuinely. Yes. It makes a big difference. Like it's it's dangerous to not use nice ones. That sounds it's like not a lame worth thing it. to say, but it it's is It's not dangerous. worth it, guys. You should actually get special special ones, specialized ones from Manscaped. Um. Another thing is is the the trimmer the trimmer that they they sell the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer that's what they sent us yeah features cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents that's right you hear what I'm talking about you could have saved yourself if you would have had it back then also this is a lot of information uh oh but if you're not looking to go bald if you're into just like trimming uh-huh. you gotta go electric well and that's what it is right I know I've si- I literally when they sent it I was like this is actually sick. The lawnmower 4.0 has 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on or off switch that can engage travel lock and gives you the ability to turn on a 4,000K LED spotlight on and off for a precise shave. And it's waterproof. Waterproof is you essential. Can do it in the shower. Essential. Anyway. But yeah, going electric for, for the trim and not the bald thing has, is life changing. It is life changing. Yeah. You should Manscaped. try it. Manscaped. Ladies and gentlemen. Also, I can't, we can't use their ball deodorant, I don't think, because we don't have balls. But it's I'm, such a good gift. I'm really interested in that. Yeah, me too. I actually, uh, no matter what, I say an ex-boyfriend, even if it was my current boyfriend. But okay, weird. <laughs> weird segue. I say that because I don't, I, I get nervous whenever I say, like, my boyfriend. So this this story is definitely not about my boyfriend. Good cover, cutie. Um... <laughs> One time I had an ex-boyfriend yeah. who I was going to give him a, a BJ and I got down there and I was like, you no, got, I'm not. You got stank dick. Yeah. Like straight up. I was like, you got to go wash this off. Yeah. And he did. But maybe ball deodorant would have stopped that. Yeah. Would have saved the would have saved the mood. I bet it would have. I really want to. I'm excited to try that out. I think yeah. it's a really good gift. I think uh, the packaging was really cool, too. It was really sleek. Yeah. Nice. Ladies, if you need a gift. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code WhineAbout at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code WhineAbout it. Yay. Hot girl summer doesn't need to end when you and your man keep it smooth all season long. 
Hooray. That was wicked. More hot girl summer. Anyway, thank you for the sponsoring our stream. Big time. I had a question for you. Okay. I have a friend. I want to get your opinion on this. Oh, God. Here we go. She, uh, she was about to get in trouble. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Cutie and I have told stories live of our friends that are like normies, and then they see it and they get mad. Oh, my gosh. Even though we use fake names. We didn't do the wine review because I'm pregnant, so I'm not drinking. I'm on painkillers. Um, so I'm not actually pregnant. I just I'm needed a good lie to not drink on our wine about it. Podcast. I did take Advil. We just got back from shit camp. We're exhausted. We spent the whole week drinking. We're not drinking right now, but I will. That bottle of wine is empty. I can't not do a wine review. It's like going to be an issue for me personally as a human. So I'm going to have this. Sephora d'Italia Zinfidel Primavito Puglia made in 2017. How would you say these words? Zinfidel Primitivo Puglia. <laughs> uh, it's a Zinfidel, which is an, an interesting fact. Particularly since it has become such a popular grape variety, American Zinfandel and the Southern Italian National Grape Primitive are the same. Whoa. Best served at 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. What's that? Uh, that's like 30 degrees. That, so it's chilled? You should serve this chilled? Oh, it's been in our shed all day. It's, it's not going to be chilled. Well, here we go, kids. That was that might have been my so worst pour in the world. That was I'm terrible. so sorry. It just sounded like someone like throwing up or something. It sounded I'm, like someone that I'm, was like pee shy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was doing it with one hand. It's raining outside. I kind of got distracted by the rain. I love the rain. Um. Anyway, I'll try this. <laughs> oh my. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Is that bad? It's bad. You want to try it? No. Okay. It has my lipstick all over it. Sorry. It smells. It's not good. Do you like it? I can't believe that. Yeah, that's really bad. I can't believe that. I used to like wine not that long ago. I didn't. I never did. Well, I think maybe I didn't like wine. I just like being drunk. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. No, I don't think there was ever... No, I, I've never had a period of life where, where I liked wine. Um, That... That is that is terrible. Yucky. That's really terrible. Okay. Speaking of drinking, though, I'm happy we did our wine, re wine review. Is a four out of ten would not recommend on that. Three. Um, I had this friend who okay. I'm not going to get in trouble with because I asked her if I could tell the story. Okay, I'm ready. She went on a Tinder date, and she's on the Tinder date, and she's talking, and she's like, she's like, yeah, so I came on this date, and damn, good for her. Yeah. Well. No, mm. not that kind of came. Okay. Uh, she's like talking to her date, making small talk. She's like, yeah, I was so nervous. I took a shot before the date. Yeah. And he goes, oh, great. Do you want another? And she's like, no, 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 no. He goes to the bathroom, comes back with two tequila shots. And he's like, let's take a tequila shot. And she's like, oh, my gosh, no. And he's like, come on, you already took one. And she's like, okay. So then she takes a tequila shot, thinking that he would take the second one. No. Oh, absolutely. He not. says that one's for you too. Absolutely not. And she's like, I'm not gonna take two. You have to take one. He said, Okay, I'll get one. So then he gets one. And so now she is taking a second shot to his one shot. Or technically that's her third shot. I a hundred percent call that out. Right. A hundred percent. I'm like, you're a predator. <laughs> exactly. It's no, I, I would just I would just refuse. I'd be like, dude, like I'm not taking two shots to your one shot. I'm half your size. She's too yeah. nice. She's yeah, too nice and she didn't know what to do. And so she took the shot, whatever. I don't know. They end up going back to her place. Wow. Don't worry, though, because she's like, I'm drunk. And she's had too many hookups, like, just being drunk. So she's like, I'm drunk. We are not hooking up. Like, they make out. And she's like, I'll see you later. But when they get there, he takes his rings off. For some reason, this guy wore a ton of rings. He takes them off and leaves them. I told you. 
I told this story on the on the episode that we had to throw Oh, away. on the episode yeah. where we scrapped the yeah, audio. Yeah, that's why we're... Okay, I'm we're listening. Re- I've never heard this This is story. a brand new story. And uh, he leaves his rings there, and then he leaves her house. Yeah. And she's like, oh, it's like a calling card. I mean, we've all been guilty of that, right? Leaving something at their house so they have to call you? Yeah. I've never done that. Oh. <laughs> we've all, listen, yeah. listen, YouTube comments. We've all been guilty of that. Let me, wait, have I done anything like that? Oh, I'm the worst at it. There was a guy before I left his house one time. I like sprayed his pillow with my perfume. So then he got home and he was like, my pillow still smells like you. And I was like, that's right, bitch. Wow, you're, that's crazy. That's it? smart. It was smart. That one's fine. I, I've never left something on purpose. I've accidentally um, taken something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I accidentally, I was packing taken, and I I've grabbed your shirt. I've taken a lot of shirts. I've taken a lot of shirts and a lot of sweatshirts, but with no intention of giving them back. Oh, my intention is always for them to be like, hey girl, hey. No. I got to get them to say, hey girl, hey. I confiscate. Oh, you're a stealer. You're, yeah. th- you're a thief. They're mine. But yeah. this guy leaves the rings as a calling card. After, when he's walking out, she's like, your rings. He's like, oh, I'll get them later. And she's like, okay. And they had talked about going on another date. Like, he had talked to her about it. Yeah. The next day, he just, like, slowly starts ghosting her. Okay. And then she texts him the next day, and he, like, vaguely replies. And then she texts him the next day, and he doesn't reply. So we're on day four, and she's like, okay, well, clearly this is the end of this. Yep. Like, this was just a Tinder date. What do I do with these rings? Like, he, like... At some point, they were talking about his rings, and he was, like, talking about how one was sentimental and, like, blah, blah. She's like, I don't know what to do with these. Mm-hmm. So, finally, she texts him, and she's like, she's like, hey, I have your rings. Are you going to come get them? And he was like, he was like, oh, I'm going to the bar tonight. Do you want to come? She's like, no, please just, like, come get your rings. And he's like, he's like, oh, like, I'll get them some other time. Like, I'm sure I'll see you around. Bro. It's just so weird for someone to say to you, come and get this, and then you just not doing it. Yeah. And then them just, like, being a burden to her, like, knowing that she has to do something with them that would stress me out. I what told do you her do? to put them, I told her to put them on the porch yeah. and say, I will put these on the porch. You can come get them today or tomorrow. Then I'm going to throw them out. That's what I would do. You 100%. just tell them. But I think part of her was still, like, kind of hooked up in the fuck boy. Yeah. And she kind of wanted to hang out with him. Yeah. Uh, So she, they don't hang out that night. Next night. You didn't hear this part. Okay. This is a development story. Next night, she goes to the bars. She runs into him. Yeah. Like, unintentionally. They, they hook up. Mm-hmm. They go back to her place. They have sex. Mm-hmm. He fucking wins. He gets his rings. Pee pee poof. Ghost her. Ghost her. Damn. Yeah, no. I would just, uh, I would put him in a little bag by my mailbox. If she would have just gotten rid of the ring, she would have never gotten ghosted. Yep. How sad is that? Yep. Yep. That is a crazy move. I never thought about that. I would just leave them out and I'd be like, hey, I'm really busy today. Um, if you want to grab them, you can. But yeah. And then if he doesn't get them in like 48 hours, I just don't. I think them. even an, an option, like a kinder option is even just saying like, hey, what's your address? I'll mail them to you. Uh, oh, oh, that is way too nice. Absolutely not. I really? would not. No, I would not mail the rings to him. <laughs> That is absurd. I probably would. I'd feel bad because I think he like told her like like. Oh, don't this feel bad. You give him forty eight <laughs> hours to pick them up himself if he cares about them. You're right. And if he doesn't, you don't. I'm like being them. manipulated by a guy I've never even met. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> if he was like, "Hey, what the hell? Why would you donate my rings?" I'd be like, "I texted you four times and I left them out for two days." Yeah. Okay. That's not your problem anymore. It's not my problem. That's crazy that you would mail them. I would. You would have to kill me first. So this is my this is my PSA about calling cards, ladies. Don't fall for him. What yeah. a trick. What a trick. I couldn't believe I'm it. I'm really trying to think if anybody's ever done something like that to me. No, but I don't know if you want to tell this story again. It was also on the the sad episode that got ruined. Yeah. But you talked about a time where a guy and drinking got a little chaotic. Yeah. Yeah, sure. She's crazy. Sure. Um, I have never told the story live never live she did it on a recorded episode that got deleted yeah it's just about the idea that like i don't know listen i do think taking a shot to loosen up is a-okay yeah whatever. but giving someone a shot to loosen them up is not okay yeah but worse is that uh so this guy at a bar um kept 
we were drinking together and it was fine you know we were like friends and hanging out and i was having a good time and um he kept buying me drinks which i wasn't asking for but i was wanting to drink so it was fine yeah. so i was just like i was like oh thank you you know Wicked, and like drinking yeah. them um and then by like i think my third drink of the night over like hours right i was just like i am so drunk <laughs> i was like why am i so drunk right now like what's yeah. going on and he was like oh all those were doubles and so I here I was thinking I had had three drinks over the course of a few hours, uh, and it was six, which you know for me is a massive difference. Yeah, that's like huge. I uh, mean, that's huge for anyone, let alone someone that weighs a hundred pounds. Right. No, I mean six drinks in a few hours is, and it end for me. You yeah. Know, like uh, goodbye, Maya. Like, like that's later. like yeah. So I'm hammered, and I was like, and I was pissed because I was like, you 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 don't feed somebody doubles and not tell them, especially. When it's somebody my size, he, he yeah. knew that I was it's, lightweight. It's like, also you can... just, it's such a weird idea to to go order someone a drink because they ask you. Yeah. They say single or double and you'd be like, double. Right. It's right. lazy. Yeah. Um, so that was gross. Uh, we walked around a little bit. I like fell on him a couple times because I'm stumbling. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like drunk. Um, fell on him a couple times. Um held hands with him at one point somehow don't know how that happened don't remember how oh, it gosh. happened gosh but we we did hold hands uh-huh. at one point never kissed him um but we were just like walking around like you know just just you know hammered. living it up yeah and then we get back to this hotel where everybody's staying and um he comes to my hotel room and i was just like ah, like okay you know like he, yeah. he's at my hotel room like whatever um, we're having fun and i was just like he wanted to, to crash in my hotel room. So I was like, okay, sure, I guess, whatever. But I'm not trying to hook up with him, right? Yeah. So we both lie on the bed. Obviously, he's trying to hook up with me. Yeah. Um, he goes to kiss me. I block it physically with two hands. Oh, my God. Two hands in my face like this, That's right? so awkward. I cover my face. I'm like, no. Oh, um, God. He did that one other time, which uh, is insane that to is go crazy again. to run it back. To run it back after you get the, the, the two-handed block <laughs> to a kiss. That's- wild You're given move. the actual wall yes yeah um and so uh i go after the second time he did that i go um can i just walk you back to your room yeah you end the night you're like yeah I'm done. and he was like is it no can i just stay here uh and i was like uh sh- okay whatever because i'm not trying to confront like, you I'm not saw me could stay out. on the bed or were you like sleep on the couch there's only one bed there's oh no you were couch. just like okay yeah um so i was just like sure whatever like i'm not trying to do like a confrontational thing we have a bunch of mutual friends i'm not trying to make it like this crazy thing, yeah whatever. so i turn around face the wall and i'm like okay i'm going to sleep yeah okay good night then right and then he goes to spoon me which right of course again and so i'm laying there and i'm just like whatever you know let's just uh, i we'll give just up sleep yeah. i give up whatever um and then he puts his hand under my shirt and grabs my t- like gropes me um With and it. i like i like grab his wrist and i pull it out of my shirt and when I pulled it out of my shirt, um, <laughs> I guess because I pulled it out of my shirt, I sent it the other direction. And then he starts he putting his hands. That was... No, he did not think that I was guiding him. It was not you? a guiding hand. Maybe. It, no, you okay, didn't. I'm you. telling I you, you I it you. wasn't like a, oh, it was like a. It was a throw was away. A flick. Okay, okay. I flicked his, I grabbed his wrist and I flicked him uh-huh. out. Um, and then he started going the other direction. He tried oh, to put his hands down my God. Band. And I was like. I, I got up and I was like, let me walk you back to your room. Uh-huh. Still not confronting him. You know, I was just like, let me just walk you back to your room. And and he was like, no, I want to stay. That and is I, so weird to want to say after being like, rejected. what are you so missing here? I don't understand. Right. I really don't. Like, um, genuinely, in the comments, please, how do you make that more clear? Yep. Like, besides just, I guess, right. what do you even say? Hello, we will not be hooking up. I do not like your advances please leave my room yeah um he still wanted to say i just started putting my shoes on and i yeah. was just like what's your room number um and so i he like i end up walking him out whatever we, we walk to his room um we get into his room there is a bench in his room um and i i go to drop him off he grabs both my hands and pulls me over him on he sits down on the bench the walls behind him and he pulls me over him onto the bench like trying to get me to straddle him right oh my god and i hypotenuse over the <laughs> if he's the right angle i hypotenuse over the bench i I, put, I brace my hands against the wall uh-huh. and i straight body him 
so that I'm not touching you. <laughs> so you're like the letter, like letter yes. A or yeah. something yeah. at this point. I, my body goes straight, so I'm not touching him because I'm not going to straddle him. Yeah. Right? Um, and I'm still somehow not, like, confronting him. Yeah. And he still somehow is not getting it. Yeah. So I was just like, huh, okay, I'm going to go. And he's like, no, just hang out. Like, just hang out. You can hang out in Dude, here. Like, what we can. You even and imagine? I was just like, I legitimately, I, like, broke off of him. And then I ran out of the door. And I turned around at the door. And I was like, good night. I'm leaving you here. Drink some water. See you later. Um, and he's like, no, you're not really leaving. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm leaving. Um, and I turned around and I walked away. And I hear his door close. And I was like. Thank please God. just i was like please just stay close stay close stay close and i'm trying to like turn the corner in the hallway so that he doesn't Follow know you. yeah so he yeah. doesn't know where i am but he he had been in my room yeah so he knew my, where my room was and uh. it's like a shitty hotel and the door doesn't lock oh uh. so i take my bra and i make shift this weird lock around the handle in the in the um so thing. he doesn't come back in yeah and i try to like lock my door with the bra um then in the morning, I unlock it, and then I, like, went to lay down in bed. I, like, fell back asleep. It's, like, 7.30 in the morning or something, mm -hmm. and he comes He comes into my room. He oh walks my into my room, like, doesn't so knock. he breaks through your bra lock. No, I'd taken the bra oh, lock okay. off. Um, he doesn't knock. I thought I was in the clear. It was, it was like, broad daylight. Yeah. I was like, he's not coming back now. Like, I was worried about close. him. Yeah, I was worried about him showing up at night, but he's not going to come back in the morning. Um, he did. <laughs> Uh, he walks into the, into the room and sits on the bed and starts like jumping on the bed and he's like, wake up. And I was like, no, it's, it's 7 a.m. Like, I don't want to be up right now. And then he, you know, love this. He takes my, he takes his hand and he palms my face like a basketball. Oh my God. And he shakes my face That's left what I do and to right. Durs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Durs probably hates that. Durs loves it. It sucks. Trust <laughs> me. He takes, he goes like this and he shakes my face and he goes, wake up. And it was, like, some of the most disrespectful shit I've ever felt in my life. I was what like, I do? can't believe. I, I was just like, get out. I was like, get out. I'm not waking up right now. Um, and he was, like, stroking my hair some and shit. And it was just, I was just like, get out of my room. Dude. Um, and then he left. And then I, I did end up sending a text where I was like, hey, I was very clear that I was not, in, you know, yeah. and I'm not sure how you didn't read that. But you made me really uncomfortable. And he apologized. That's good. But uh, I don't think that he gets it. Ugh, yeah, yo yoy. That's that, that's that story. Yoy. I don't know why I've never told that one on, on stream. Well, I it's think kind you, of a sad you one. were saving it for the podcast, and then it got yeah destroyed. Yeah. Oh, got true. destroyed. Yeah. I had one, one time I had, I had this, I had this ex-boyfriend that I genuinely never had sex with. Okay. Like, we had sex every once in a while, but I was not sexually attracted. I should not have been with him. He was the Ooh. one that used to beat me up. <laughs> I was just, like, with him to be with someone, and then I was, like, so manipulated, and I was... It was an awful yeah, relationship. Yeah, I've had sex with someone... Oh, wait, well, yeah, I guess you're saying yes. I've had sex with someone and just been like, wow, I'm not attracted to this person. Yes. This guy. Yeah. I was never attracted to him. That is tough. In our, like, two-year relationship, I think we had sex four times. Whoa. And it was always, like... It was, like, his birthday, so I had to. Or, like, that was his so I had to. Or, like, I, I shouldn't have been with him. I'll make it very clear. It was a very, very bad, toxic relationship. But whenever I went to break up with him, he was the type that was, oh, I'll kill myself if you break up with me. I didn't know what to do. Had a few of those. Blah, 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 blah. One of those. Anyway, we... uh One time, we... Actually, this is crazy. I've never told this story ever. Um, I... I save up my money. This is when I still worked at freaking Old Navy. Mm -hmm. I saved up my money to go to Disneyland with him on like a five day like park hopper thing, blah, blah, like the whole trip. Stay at the Disneyland Resort. Cost a lot of money. I do it. I love I've loved Disneyland forever. So we go we go to it and he's thinking like, oh, vacations next time. And I'm thinking like Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. Like this is great. And so we get back to the hotel room and I know it's a little different when your boyfriend girlfriend like you know feeling feeling each other up groping is a little slightly different um maybe i'm just making excuses i don't know but uh i go to bed after like a long day at disney and i wake up to him just yeah no. groping me yeah in my sleep i've had several of those yeah and that happens and i think like sometimes it can be consensual where yeah. you like roll over and if you talk about hot. it if you yeah. talk about it before you're sleeping and you're both sober and you can consent to it then, and you're like, yes, I want you to do this while I'm sleeping. 
That's a thing. Or even if it's a slow wake up, like yeah. like let me rub your thigh for a little bit, and then you start waking up, and they can like feel you move it. Right. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. like there's ways to give consent. I did not give consent in any way. All of a sudden, I was just like being groped, and I was like woke up very confused, and I rolled over, and I was like, "What the?" F-? Yeah. And he said, "He said you you never fucking put put out you fucking prude," and then. With, like pulled the blanket off of himself and started jerking off and i was like what the fuck is going on he said if you won't do it i'll do it and he just stood there like looking at you no he ignored me he pulled out his phone pulled up porn and just jerked off. shut up dude laying in the bed next to me and i was like just in shock i was like 19 at the time a 20 at the time i don't remember how that's old I was. great you've never told me that story yeah. that's Isn't that crazy, crazy. Yeah. I've never told I don't think I've I, I don't think I've ever told a soul that story. That's and I so remember hurtful. it was it was so bad because it was Disneyland. And uh and we had gotten in a fight that day actually, which is crazy again why he would even try to wake me up for sex after right. a fight. Yeah. We, he he got so mad at me. We're in the line for Space Mountain. I have anxiety. Sometimes I get really scared before things, even yeah. if it's a road like I've ridden Space Mountain one million times. We're in the line. It breaks, and so in my brain, as an anxious person, I'm like, oh, that's an omen. That's a bad omen. Like, oh, my yeah. God, uh, I can't uh-huh. go on the ride now. You know, so I start freaking out, and my heart starts racing. I get dizzy, and I'm like, oh, it's not worth me going on this ride because I'm already feeling dizzy, and so yeah. the adrenaline will make me feel worse. Right. So I tell him, I'm like, hey, I'm going to keep waiting in line with you, but I'm not going to go on the ride. I'm just going to step through. <sighs> that was the worst fucking thing I could have said. Weird. I don't know why. He's pissed. He throws a tantrum. He's like, if you're not going on the ride, I'm not going on the ride. And I'm like, it's really not a big deal. Like, he was really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really not a big deal. I'm happy to wait in line with you. We maybe have like 20 more minutes. Like, yeah, let's just do it. Like, I'm sorry. I don't feel like I can do it. He's like, no, like, you're so fucking selfish. Blah blah. (laughs) We, he storms out of the line in front of all these people at Disneyland. I'm like, oh my God. And so like, I just follow him. We're walking back to our hotel. He's like 20 feet in front of me, just not talking to me. Yeah. And I'm just like kind of walking behind. Like, okay, we get back to the hotel. Don't talk. He then i go to sleep and that's how i wake up wow isn't that crazy that is insane yeah yeah that's bizarro that's one of the sadder relationship stories that i've heard from you oh really one of the saddest oh yeah yeah i thought it was more crazy i thought it was like wackadoodle do no that's so hurtful really <laughs> yeah i've only walked in on a boyfriend watching porn and jacking off once and it really hurt my feelings i cannot imagine being there Wow, like okay, the reason I hurt my feelings is because we weren't really, really having sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I was like in the house, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, and I walk in and I was like, I "Hello, thought, I'm I available." Like, I thought you didn't want, you know. Yeah, whatever. I thought you didn't have a sex drive. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, and the uh, yeah, I I cannot imagine that feeling and him just doing it shamelessly with me right it there. It was a little weird. I would cry. And then to go to Disneyland the next day was like this weird. I would <laughs> cry. Yeah. Yeah, that is so whack. I had a speaking of guys watching porn, I had a I had another ex boyfriend that we had a great sex life. We'd had sex like literally every other day. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Yeah. And but he he had a crazy sex drive, so he'd still like masturbate. Yeah. And whatever. That's I don't wild. care. You can masturbate. But I I would sometimes this I feel someone's gonna be mad at me for this. I'd sometimes go on his computer, look at his history to see the porn he oh, was watching. Oh, what a terrible thing to do. No. For a good reason. Because then I would take things from the porn and then do them when we would have sex the next time. Because I knew he liked it. It was actually kind of hype. That's some psycho shit, dude. Wait, actually? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's like... (laughs) That's crazy. No, because he like... I would never hurt my feelings like that. Oh, it didn't hurt my feelings at all. If I looked into the porn he was watching and someone didn't look exactly like me, Uh, didn't have the same body type as me, it would hurt my feelings. I was very confident in that relationship oh that's he good. he was like he was really great and he would always like tell me how beautiful i was blah 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 blah. and so i like i wasn't i was never insecure about the way i looked in that relationship so it was really easy to just like like imagine you start role playing the same porn you watched the day before i was like a plumber all of a sudden yeah, like, <laughs> dressed up as a plumber you're like hey it was it was something as simple as like this is maybe crude but this is the wine about a podcast so we can do it he would watch 
one time specifically, this is the only one I remember distinctly, yeah. was like just gifts of like the moment of insertion in the girl's face. Uh huh. Like, and it would just be like, this girl, like, you know, the crude porn description. Right, right, this girl's right. so satisfied when this big blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so I would like yeah. make sure to make a moment of like right. that. That's kind of hype, I guess. It was kind of hype. Yeah, it's kind of hype because I felt but like I was like fulfilling also, his fantasies Also, like too. very invasive. I know. That's where I'm like, <laughs> that was probably rude of me. And I would be really upset if I knew that my partner looked at the porn I watched. I, I would be I just wanted to like too. know how to. I get it. Yeah. yeah. I see it now from that perspective and I feel bad. <laughs> okay, respect. Because I'm like, oh, growth, he was dude. probably mad at me if he knew that yeah. I did that. Right. But well, maybe he'll never know. Oh, well, hello now. Unless What's he watches wine about it. Hey. Ah, oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god this is why i needed you to get me up in the morning um it is up to you how you feel we could wrap it up now i have to leave for a flight at five in the morning it's midnight let's wrap it up let's wrap it up we're gonna wrap it up this is a shorter episode than usual we are insanely busy we're just Dude, trying to keep we on just track. did all of shit camp and then I went to the I went to urgent care and then we went live for wine about we had to do it and guest we're filming again and we have to film this because we just are trying to be consistent we're trying to do our best for you so please don't complain about it being literally 18 minutes shorter than usual they're not going to complain about that they won't complain about it no I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment about something yeah. I don't know what but something Tell us your favorite kind of bread. Favorite kind of bread. Mine's sourdough. Yeah. What? Mine is the kind from Cheesecake Factory. It's really good. Oh, the roll things. So yummy. The brown bread. Oh, Yum. yeah. I'm not super into that. All right. Thanks for watching Mine About It. We will see you next week. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>